everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alma Sena and I'm back with my weekly thrift haul. Today is going to be a cumulative haul of my favorite thrift stores around my area. Um, I think I found a couple of Bolo brands, um, but also a lot of bread and butter. My sourcing stays have changed. I used to go basically on Fridays, but my days off from work changed. So I did have to go on Saturday, which was, which was yesterday. Um, so I was kind of getting discouraged because it was just basically bread and butter, which I'm not knocking that, but you know, we all want to find those, um, treasures that are worth some money for us. So anyway, um, yeah, there's a couple of bolos, I believe, but let's just start with, um, jeans. And anyway, I'm a part-time reseller, um, Depop, Mercari, Kittison, and, uh, eBay. And yeah, I just, I cross this all of my stuff to the different platforms because, um, I don't want to keep all of my eggs in one basket. So if one platform is not performing, the other one will pull you through. But thank you guys again for my returning subscribers and my new subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. Love making these kind of videos for you guys. And hopefully you guys uh, learn of a couple of brands to pick up while you're outsourcing, okay? So let's begin with a couple of um, shorts here. They're actually the same exact uh, brand in size. And I've heard that this brand is good driftwood. Um, average cost of goods, again, is $5 for me. So yeah, I found two of them. So I believe these were going for about $35 a piece. They are embroidered. Uh, both of them has, have some embroidery. So obviously it's from the same um, person. These are waist 25 and they are the Jill. Um, I'm probably gonna try them on as well. So yeah, I got those. So Driftwood, again, I remember somebody um, saying that they were, uh, that that was a good brand, okay? So, okay, let's see. Oh, I found these. These are pretty good. Um, and everything is usually half off on Saturdays and Fridays in my area. These were Keens. They were 10 with half off. I've never seen these style of boots. I've sold the other like hiking boots time and time again. But these were leather and they're interesting. And they, I believe, can fetch you anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks. So yeah, Keen is a really great brand. It's got a great reputation. So yeah, pretty cool. These kind of slouchy boots. So I picked those up for five. I got myself a sweater for work. It's still snowing in my area. So yeah, let's uh, move on here. I've mentioned this brand in the past. Here you go. Life is good. A couple of factors as to why I picked it up. It was a XXXL. Yeah, and you know what? I just noticed that this is brand new with tags. And I actually found two of them. I don't know if the second one is. It is new with tags as well. That is awesome. And um, so I'm going to obviously put one listing and just multiple quantities. So super, yeah, I just did not know these were new. So awesome find. So that's always like, again, a nice $25 flip or so. Um, the next brand is, I found three pairs of these jeans. I'm trying to find my other one. Where it's, hold on one second, I think I found it. Um, I pick this brand up normally in men's, it's BKE. I don't pick it up in women's anymore. But the reason I picked this up, because there was three of them of the same exact size. And some of them do have some distressing and on the bottom. But you know what, they were $4 a piece. So that was 12 bucks. And I think they were actually a tall, which adds value because um let me see where i saw that at because those usually sell for me quicker like the ones that are like tall um bke oh they're long 36 xl long so that's a good little factor to throw in your uh, listing so there's three of them and even if they are distressed and worn again i bought them for 12 bucks what I'll do is I'll probably list them for 75 and I know that they're still gonna sell. I'll do that and then take offers, but maybe if it was just one pair of jeans, maybe I wouldn't have picked them up. But again, there was three, so it's gonna be one quick listing and that's more enticing for buyers. Um, what is next? Oh, this is just for me. It's a dry fit pink, small long sleeve uh, 
shirt so when i go out running outside i can throw this on and it was only two dollars always looking out for stuff for me that i can use this is Torah brand it's not a good size it's like a zero uh, i don't know what that's equivalent to if it's like a large or something but it was like this not a poncho i don't know what you call this like a wrap almost that you can throw on like this so i thought that was cute um i've picked up their shirts time and time again and their pants this was three bucks with half off so $1.50. So I don't think it's much of a risk um, by purchasing that. It will sell, I would say, about $20 or so. This little purse, maybe this is a bolo, but I like the quilting, almost like a camouflage. Um, and what made me look it up, okay, by the way, the handle looks amazing. It's the tag looked interesting. It says, I think Roiland, Roiland or something like that, R-O-Y-L-N, Life on the Fly. But it almost looked new. Sorry, I get these little dust bunnies in allergy season. And then also um, the on the hardware, their brand was embroidered. So that's also an indication of a of something being more valuable. But I think these can go for 50 bucks. And this was six dollars with half off. Um, I don't know. I think it came with a second strap uh, from I saw some pictures, but it's okay. I'll just post it. Um, th there's one actually listed like this. For 80, I want to say it hasn't sold, um, but the comps were usually about 40 to 50 bucks, but this exact design was listed for 80. So I think I'll pop mine up for 50 and then take offers on that. But yeah, super cute. I even like it for myself. Look at that. By the way, this outfit is thrifted. Just, just like a little um, Eileen Fisher, little uh, cotton tee. These are my Levi's and I know I hauled these little uh, sanooks for you guys a couple of weeks ago that I found for myself. But yeah, completely thrifted outfit. I want to say for under 10 bucks. So love secondhand market here. Um, these you guys have to tell me if it was a mistake or not. Where is the other one? I'm not, I don't know. Where, okay, here it is. They're Bates shoes. What were they? They were like five bucks, I want to say. Five bucks. They were women's. But look at the bottom soles. They looked brand new. I think these are leather, like a work boot. They were, a, I think they were women's, eight and a half, medium width, leather upper. So, and then the insoles, like an indication um, that they've been worn is when it's kind of, you know, like worn off. But these even like smell new. I. They just do, but look, hardly anywhere. So pay five bucks, uh, maybe 30 to 35, but you guys have to let me know if you guys have sold baits before. I don't remember if I have picked those up or not, but again, um, usually, like I said, on the second day of half off, I'm not finding too much, so I was just trying to pick stuff up. And okay, these are gonna be for me, super adorable. Um, the, they're the mid-length shorts. These were half off, three bucks, a dollar fifty. We may be going on vacation at the end of May, so I definitely needed some shorts. So actually, I have to try these on still. Um, I'll save the the best for last. My best finds actually that I think are awesome. Okay, this is cool. Look at this LL Bean. This is a down vest. Again, it had a couple of great factors. It's an extra large, made in the USA um great size goose down filling look at that awesome little find and what was this this was 10 half off so five bucks super excited to pick that up again i don't pick up everything ll bean but again that had some great factors going into it um gosh we're almost done this is not going to be much of a haul and I may not have time to do a what sold this weekend. I had a lot going on um, since my work schedule changed. So I was at least worried um, that I wasn't gonna have time to get any video up uh, this weekend, but I was actually grateful that I was, had a, some time to film this thrift haul with you guys or for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I may or may not be able to squeeze in a what sold for you guys this weekend. 
Um, hope the lighting is okay. Again, we've been getting a ton of snow. Let me know um, if you guys are getting still some bad weather. And then also, I hope your guys' sales are doing amazing. This other one was for me too. It was a Nike size, small, little like funnel. I don't know if you call it like a funnel neck um, hoodies, five bucks, half off. So it was two fifty. Couldn't pass that one up. That one's for me if it fits me. The next again, it's another torrid piece. The reason I picked it up, MSRP is forty nine ninety nine. It was brand new with tags. Had it not been new with tags, I wouldn't have picked it up. This was three fifty. I don't think I'll have much trouble moving this either. And it's since spring is coming, this is like a nice, flowy, lightweight shirt. I have never found the next brand. I've heard of other resellers picking it up. I don't know that it's worth a ton of money. These were 15 with half off. But check out this brand, Eloquy. Um, brand new with tags. And I found two dresses with an amazing size. There were a size 18 and they're like, it's like faux leather. Do you guys see that? Faux leather on the front and the back. Um, I did pay $7.50 again. That's a little bit more than I like to pay. But maybe I can try for 50 bucks. You know what? I think they're a little bit different. They're not the same. This one I want to say... It has like a little belt. I hope I didn't miss the belt on this other one. One second here. No, this one did not have a belt loop on there. So that's the first one. And then the second one. Oh no, this is like entirely faux leather. I thought they were the same with a little belt. So I may be able to ask a little bit more for this one. So the majority of it, like 95% of it, this is... Uh, Full leather, brand new with tags. So, oh, awesome! I thought it was gonna be the same, the same exact dress. So I want to say maybe fifty bucks. Uh, I think this is a boutique brand that kind of uh, I think you can can customize it to your body. Uh, I'm not sure though, but I believe that's what I've heard other resellers say. Almost getting to the end. This I picked it up. I love the Aztec print, the pattern. This is I believe a women's. Um, little vest and it's bare bridge bare ridge made in the USA and I did pay up seven dollars for this one but I know it was new with tags where is the tag at did it fall off I hope not I could have sworn this was new with tags well, maybe it wasn't, but anyway, $7.50 for this beauty here. I believe that the pattern alone will sell this item. Um, I believe the sold comps were $25 to $30. Bucks. So I was super excited with that find. And the last two are my favorite finds. They are, um, well, not, well, I would say, actually, there's three more items. Actually, I missed one. Oh, here is a little tag. For the item I just showed you guys. So I'm going to have to find a way to stick it back on there. Maybe tape it on there. Yeah, I can figure out a way. So anyway, the retail was $59.99. Um, okay, the next was kind of like a weird find. I sold the leggings before in this uh, brand. Let me know if you guys have picked it up. But weird stuff sells on eBay. This was the brand Black Milk. Come on. Where is it? I'm having issues. See, black milk. I sold this before in leggings for about 25 to 30 bucks, but this was a weird little two piece. I don't know. It only got it for $1.50. Somebody will love it. It's got like some weird intestine designs on here. Super weird, but it was $1.50. It's like a high rise and like a little top here. Interesting, right? <laughs> So I'm gonna put that up for about $25 or so. And the last two are my favorite finds. These vans were $7 um, with half off, but look at the um, bottoms look amazing, but they're like a collaboration. I think that's Darth Vader, but I've heard that collaborations can do pretty good. It says, may the force be with you. Lucas something or other. 
But look at these are really cool. I want to say I can get 50 bucks for these guys. If they were my size, I think I would totally keep them. Let me know if you guys would have done the same, pick these up or not. But I think you can't go wrong with like collaborations. And the last one is the huge Bolo brand. They, I, okay, so they were four bucks with half off. But look at this design, this pattern. And I think this is Croc, Crocodile, but it's Los Altos boots. You see that? So they looked interesting to me. The inside looked kind of interesting to me. It had some writing on there. I don't know exactly. Oh, here's another Los Altos. You guys, look at this brand. No kidding. These are have some wear, obviously. But the brand they sell from $200 to $500 in, on these shoes. Um, I would even be happy with $100. So I believe these are a men's eight, size eight, but super interesting, right? But again, what made me pick them up was that little interesting logo there. The inside of the soles, um, Los Altos shoes made in, I think, oh my gosh, I can't really read it that good. Um, anyway, but super intriguing. So I picked them up. I'm glad I looked up comps because I initially had passed them up, just went up to them and looked at them and then just put them back to you because they're unassuming. There's like not like a ton of weight or like substantial, doesn't feel like substantial uh, material or anything like that. But I'm glad I definitely went back to take a look. So I can't wait to list these. Anyway, I'm glad I got to do a haul for you guys. Again, I hope your sales and thrifting are amazing. Thank you guys again for your support. Please like and subscribe. And I'm going to try to get my what sold uh, for the week. Um, but anyway, if I don't, I'll talk to you guys next weekend. Bye.